It is here, the update we've all been waiting for. We get the almighty new hero, Geraldo, the Geraldo, and we get a cool new boss balloon. I will leave all the patch notes below, but as you can see, the new menu for heroes was a part of it, and we can see all of them in one spot rather than scrolling all the way crazy left and right, and we can see exactly what they upgrade here to with their cool little thing. Oh my gosh, look at this. It'd be so much easier to make a thumbnail for heroes now. Just go right here and screenshot it. I love it. But we are going to buy the almighty Geraldo right here here for five thousand dollars the mystic shopkeeper i am so stoked to use this guy i have no idea what he's gonna do it seems like a whole new way to play the game and i'm excited to see it we also have a new map what's all this stuff but scrapyard here does that mean that i have gotten the black border medal or like i've beaten chimps a hundred times there's Chom Chom and there's Supreme. What does that mean? They're my friends. And it shows that Supreme's online. So we have like a friend thing here. This is crazy. I can pretend I have friends. I do want to test out this map and I do want to test out this hero. So let's just do it. Let's just jump right into a hard mode and play with this new hero. See what happens here. Let's just check it out real quick and see what happens. So it looks like it's going to come around here, come around there, go around here. So I want to say we could put Geraldo like right here or we can just attack the beginning of the track. Doesn't really matter either way. Does he actually do damage though? I don't think he does, right? Oh, he does damage. I thought he was just going to be straight buffer. This is awesome. Okay, for level three, he has C's invisibility potion grant short-term camo detection to a monkey tower or hero okay so i get to pick a specific person to kind of buff what okay no he actually has a shop oh my goodness a permanent handcrafted dart shooting turret well let's try that out put it like right here maybe and it actually what the heck is even going on this is awesome okay this one is a stack of old nails it's just a stack of old nails but put them anywhere on the track and they'll handily pop those stray balloons oh my goodness it's like btd5 guys we get the little tax at the beginning or put them wherever you want that is so cool and can you use that in chimps Oh, but I'm caught. I'm spending money to do this, right? Place this spooky looking idol near the track to scare balloons back to where they came from. Okay, let's do that. That works out pretty well. Does it work on Moab class? That'd be kind of crazy. Jar of pickles. Try these pickles on one of your monkey towers and it will hit harder, but shoot slower for a while. Oh, so does... Okay, I like that. But look at this. So this is actually pretty cool for sending them back if you just need to like stall out the rounds a little longer limited edition mint condition original quincy son of quincy action figure this is only going to go up in value so buy it now and look at this shop just in oh so new items oh my gosh okay and this is the invisibility potion we just had this is so freaking cool so for this one we get a quincy out for 1500 dollars. so we're pretty much gonna have like two heroes and this just stays here forever and you can sell it for money okay i'm kind of digging this guy he needs a cash item though how do we do that this is tube of amazo glue. Apply a tube of this modern marvel anywhere on the track and watch the bunch of balloons slow right down. Okay, I do want to get a Quincy doll, but are we gonna... I don't want to lose in the meantime. We could just buy another one of these little harpoons for now to hold us off. This is really awesome. But now it's 2100 for Quincy? So my idol did leave as well, so it doesn't last forever. You can't upgrade these, and it looks like the more items you buy, the more you have to spend on the next item. So, and that just went up in price again? Why do I feel like every time I get a little closer to it, it like goes a little farther away? It's going up higher? Why are they doing this to me? I just want to buy my Quincy. So what if I sell these? Okay, let's see. Let's see. We got to get our Quincy. So we're going to sell this and we're going to buy... Oh my gosh, we still don't have enough. It feels like a, It feels like it's a credit card debt. It feels like I have just keep overextending myself and I just can't catch up. I just want to buy the Quincy. So we'll get this for now to like help us out a little bit. And now it went up even more. Oh my goodness. I am so confused. Why won't they just let me have the Quincy? So I need to like hardcore farm here to get my Quincy up. That's what we're going to have to do here. And I'll, I'll just do it. That's fine. Oh my goodness. There's so much cool stuff going on here though. Look at this one. Sharpen those darts. Apply this to your darts and blades and they'll be sharper than ever before. So they'll have more pierce. And then this one right here, give this one to one of your dart monkeys and watch the transformation slightly used. So I can turn my dart monkey into a super. We're just getting ever so farther away from this Quincy and this guy can't pop lead. So you know what? I want this Quincy and I need to see what he does. So I'm just straight going for it now, not buying anything else, but it looks like I can't. It honestly looks like I can't do that. And you're going to have to farm or place Geraldo down later when you already have the money. That's kind of what it seems like to me right now because it's just ever so farther away 
every time I want it. Oh, it looks like we might actually get it on this round. Okay. So by round 10, you can actually grab Quincy if you hurry up about it. So let's place him here. See what that does. What does it do? Does it not actually do anything? <laughs> what the heck? Is it a, some sort of farm and it's just going to go up in value so I get more money as the time goes on? Oh, so it does. So this thing is your farm. That is this guy's way of making money. I love it. So our goal here is I just want to kind of like beat this whole map with like what we got. And actually, I didn't even pay attention to this map. Oh, what the heck? I just chopped that thing down. I have no idea what I just did, but I did something. That was cool. Oh, there has to be some kind of hidden mystery here. You guys got to let me know the hidden mystery below. So for $1,620, we get this cool little thing that adds a cape to our dudes here. Can I just put on this guy? Oh, it wants like a solo dart monkey. Okay. Actually, let's sell this dart monkey and we'll put this one here and we'll buy this cape. Oh, cool. Oh my gosh. I just turned him into a super monkey for a lot cheaper. Oh, what the heck? That's awesome. And then now I can like buy this. The effects will wear off, but I can actually give this guy camo for now. Oh, and he has cool little eyes. I love it. And he is actually a super monkey now. So basically you're getting a super monkey for cheaper. Imagine that in chimps. That would be pretty cool. You can get it going way faster. Okay, now we don't have any lead popping. So how can he solve that? So this says it shoots harder. Will it work though? Does that shoot harder? Okay, that doesn't work. What about this one? No, that doesn't work either, but this guy's super buff right now. <laughs> There's a lot going on, but it's not what we need. All right, um, what else can, maybe this tub of a maze glue? Uh, no, it actually slows everything down. Imagine this guy for challenges. I love this guy. I think he's going to get a lead popping ability. Uh, we just don't have it yet, but look how long these buffs go for. So he has the crazy eyes and all the other stuff. So I got to buy my camo eyes again because we're about to lose on that one. That's fine. And then this one right here, look at this. So it just pops things pretty much. So does it pop camo? Oh no, but it's a cool little portable blade shooter. I'm loving that. This guy will pop those, no biggie. And then we got the red hot chili pepper. <laughs> 2.8 million Bloonville units. Whoever tastes this special sauce will be spewing fire for a while. So that means we can pop lead for sure. It has to be. But watch this guy shred these ones right there. Oh, it's actually just a, a portable maelstrom you can put on the track. Oh, heck yeah. But first we got to get this guy's fire up so we can pop this stuff. Boom. Pop that lead. Now he has the, the power of the D breath magician. This is crazy. This rare Quincy action figure is now at $16,000. Unbelievable. But let's see if the fire damage can take down this Moab. Uh oh, maybe not. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to Maelstrom this guy. Just go like this instant kill. Can this guy even be used on chimps? I feel like he's cheating. Oh my gosh. Fertilizer. You can add this to your banana farms that get more bananas right, right now. It doesn't work on that banana farm. Let's try this banana farm. So we're going to test out the really cool one right here. We're going to test the magic thingy. So we're going to go like this and we're just going to give it to it. I'm just seeing a bunch of money pop up or what, what just happened? Did I get my investment back? Like, was it worth it? I don't actually know, but now I can't use any more. I think I used them all. But since we're having a problem with purples, we're going to get our second cheap little dart monkey here. And then we're going to, oh, good, perfect timing. I mean, geez. And we'll put this one here. There we go. And then he needs to see camo. So we'll get the shopkeeper to let him see camo here. Boom, 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 boom. He does need to be stronger though. So we'll buy the buffy thingy and then we'll buy these two. Help him out, help him out the track there. Just buy a bunch, do this. We need to win. No, not that one, this one. Okay, so we're gonna try this one again. So I've collected everything. Now I can't use it. So it's just the regular farm to give it like some more bucks right off the bat. I guess that's fine. Here we go, we got a pet rabbit. Sometimes all you need is a super cute wee bunny pet or several. What does this do for $1,600? It cannot be placed on a regular spot it looks like. It has to be placed. Oh, and it's literally just a pet I feel like. Oh my goodness. I literally just paid $1,600 for that. Well, let's buy two because maybe they'll do something. We don't know. We've never been in these waters before. Drop the delicious drink anywhere and watch it rejuvenating powers restore lives and reset ability cooldowns. Oh, you only get a certain amount of these things, but I can buy bunnies. I mean, it's kind of funny that you can get a lot of bunnies because if you have bunnies, you know that bunnies are bunnies. You know what I mean? Meanwhile, this thing is at $50,000. It's rare Quincy action figures. So I don't even know what I would buy at this point because the shop's like not letting us buy everything. So We'll just like buy everybody flame powers. We'll just keep up with the flame powers and we'll keep up with the, the glue and we'll make everybody sharper. Oh, and I can buy more now? 
Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know I could just keep buying these cool little things like they keep regenerating. Let's buy some more. Besides the farm here, we're only keeping like, well, I guess the sniper too, I cheated. We're only gonna be using the shop, which I'm excited about. Oh, this one, the genie bottle. Summon a genie from this brilliant blue bottle, but beware, it won't last forever. No wishes included with purchase. Well, let's see what this does. Like, how about like right here? Well, I don't wanna waste it. What if it's something crazy? Like, how about there? What is Casper even doing? He just blows around and blows. He just shoots things with his little flame stuff. That is pretty cool. I love this guy though look at that that is super cool and we can just keep buying them do they last forever how long do they last now a question is like do these guys get buffed no but what about like a village would it buff a village it does oh my god you can make your genie be buffed by a village that's pretty awesome oh my gosh look at the rabbits i didn't notice it at first but i have max rabbits and it just turns it into one banicula that is pretty awesome. So you could just buy, I think it was six of them and then it just turns into that craziness. Well, if the bunnies have a max, I wanna see if like these ones have a max and we get like a, oh my gosh, did I get like an upgrade for that? I don't even know. Why do these ones have a red tail? It seems that maybe the more I buy, the better I get of them. Oh, faster, fire faster and shoots more damage. Okay, so I, I guess I did get an upgrade. Put out a genie for round 76. Help with that out, genie. That's what's good. Oh, because I've been looking at the shop the whole time. What a dummy. So look at this. Stack of old nails becomes nail mine. Jar of pickles grants additional bonus versus fortified. And Jerry's fire gains bonus Bernie damage. Oh my gosh. So it actually does more things, which is what we assumed. But I was just too excited to like even see what was going on there. So the ones to look out for around 17, the Amazo Glue can now stop Moabs a little bit. The Genie does a better close up damage attack to Moabs. What the heck is this? New item, Paragon Power Totem, adds Paragon Power to the next Paragon created. Some things to note here though, look at a balloon chipper in the mud. Does that mean that we're being hinted at where we might get a balloon chipper sooner or later? <clears throat> I think that could mean that. And also I think what this does is it crushes the balloons. If I had to guess, it's just gonna go bloop and crush everything. Now my question is, how do I move this stuff so I can add more farms? Is this a beginner map? Is it just because there's a lot of placements or I should be able to move some stuff? Oh, look at now this is like a super maelstrom this one's awesome let's wait till 85 and see what it does there let's just place this on the track and see what it does and it is it's just like a, a blade maelstrom a super blade maelstrom that's what i'm talking about you can't go full max super monkey with this i didn't see that earlier that's kind of cool so it's letting you know like hey we can be cool but not that cool now our genie's a little upgraded so let's give that a shot here he has that closer up attack right okay so look at that he's now he's a gold casper i like it and we got those cool mines now let's put those down they're just like little poppers, right? So they're just gonna pop like straggler balloons, but I don't see them doing like too much damage to that. Maybe, who knows? Here we go, we're gonna crush this stuff, ready? As soon as it overwhelms it, we're gonna go with like this, crush. Does it actually do damage? It looks like it does, I don't know. So what we're doing here is we're just gonna give all of these guys like super buffs and see if that is enough. Oh look, you can buff those. We're seeing if that's an enemy enough to like take this guy down and all he has is those. And then we'll get like a little slowdown guy too, just so we don't like get completely wrecked. Oh, this is a good chance to check out our cool little guy here that takes abilities down. And then we can slow those down like that. Use that fire damage. That's what I'm talking about. Look at us take through 95 with Geraldo. I love it. It's 98 though. This is a little scary. I'm gonna use my genie here to even help out. I really dig putting all this stuff down. Like that's kind of cool. Like you don't have to like, there's something for everything. Like you think, oh, maybe I won't be able to handle it, but you can because we got the cool team here and they're just like, we got genies. I mean, this is awesome. But look at 35,000 damage between each of them. That's pretty awesome. I think we need to, obviously we need like a paragon, but I don't have nearly enough for that okay so it gave it one degree i'm very confused well you guys let me know below but it looks like it just gave it one degree i could have been wrong on how i did it oh and guys look at the commas at the top we now know how much money we have without being ridiculous so what i'm thinking is maybe it had something to do with the fact that the the dart monkey has that little weird thing where if you do it the right way you get automatically level 30 so maybe it has something to do with that and so let's see what these three together on their own they're at one obviously okay so let's try it with this little guys right here one what well i've had enough of that so i'm gonna grab the disguise balloon glasses because that's really awesome well i will definitely have more videos out with this new update i just had to get this out there to show you guys how cool geraldo is geraldo is it geraldo or geraldo let me know below and if you enjoyed this i think you'll like this video but just beware clicking may cause suffering this challenge will drive you a bit crazy